by the early 80s, about 50% of this reservoir was covered with hydrilla. It was a big mess. Grass carp were put in here. Grass carp was foreign to so many people. A lot of people had not researched to find out what grass carp would do. It did take out all the hydrilla, but it also took out all the other plants. Basically ate everything in sight. You could throw a piece of green paper in the lake and they would eat it up. We were left with a mud hole. The water quality was poor, fish had declined drastically. In the mid-90s, the grass carp started to die off, and that's when we started to work to establish native plants. It's an aquatic ecosystem, and it's hard to manage. Invasive plants have come and gone. We've worked at this over 20 years with a lot of partners, Parks and Wildlife, the San Jacinto River Authority, a number of universities that have partnered with us, but also local residents. Seven Coast Bass Club actually built a native plant nursery here. We wanted to institute a program where we could transplant native aquatic plants to keep Lake Conroe from becoming denuded like it was in the early 1980s. And that's where we are today, getting the native plants reestablished. This one is so ready for the field. It has busted out of its uh, plastic pot here. What we're trying to do is an ecosystem enhancement. What the native aquatic plants will do is they'll be able to take up any excess nutrients that would be available to those species. These plants, once established, will not only spread between the pens, they'll also produce seeds and other propagules that can spread to other areas of the lake. And we're seeing the effects of that today, and the effects are really good. We've also received calls from as far away as North Carolina, Washington State, Oregon, and even New Zealand. The partnership is really what makes it work. To have all these partners recognized, it's, it's almost beyond words for me to describe how much this means to us.